Welcome back to The Ed Show. The big finish tonight. I'd like you to read this comment with me as we close our show tonight with this segment. We've got a Muslim president who hates farming, hates the military, hates the U.S., and we hate him. Those are the words of Hank Williams Jr., the country entertainer. He said this on stage Friday night at the Iowa State Fair. Now, let's keep in mind that the president went to the Iowa State Fair last week and he was really well received. They were yelling four more beers. <laughs> the crowd loved the president. But there's another element out there. And the crowd, of course, reportedly went wild when Hank Williams Jr. said this. First of all, as we've been reporting the, the lies that these people say, but there's a culture of hate that, that's out there with the Republicans and, and with the hate merchants and the peddlers out there. First of all, the president is not Muslim. He does not hate farming. He does not hate the military. And he does not hate the United States of America. But this part is true. Hank Williams Jr. He says, we hate him. They do. Let's bring in MSNBC political analyst and Georgetown University professor Michael Eric Dyson. There just is a culture that permeates through the countryside by these hate merchants who peddle it on stage, Hank Williams Jr. And I just don't think it's ever going to quit, professor. I don't think it's ever going to quit. Well, uh, it's, what's it's the best being way to com it. what's the best way to comment this? What's the best way to combat this head shaking crowd out there? Well, I think the president has brilliantly um, ignored the most egregious examples of this hatred, not because he's namby-pamby, but because he, he's a true Christian. All of these people in the name of Christ who are assaulting the personhood and the stature of the president of the United States of America are being met with, with a person who believes in Jesus who said, treat them with love, it will heap coals of fire upon their heads. I think, look, we can't be stupid about this. We have to be strategic about it. We have to to say to people who are the merchants of hate and the peddlers of bigotry like Mr. Williams, which is tragic because he comes from such a vaunted, a valued uh, pedigree of music in this country with his father, one of the greatest poets of the 20th century, to descend into the pit and pathology of hatred the way he has done. I think we have to pray for him. We have to say to him that your way will not win, that ultimately the good Americans out here, many more believe in the president, or that is to say, believe in his humanity, believe in the fact that we should not hate people, even if we oppose them. I don't agree with Paul Ryan. I don't agree with Mitt Romney. I don't hate them. I love them as fellow human beings. I think that way will prevail. And I think we have to say, we have to emphasize and focus on those who uplift the values and virtues of this democracy and not those who put it into the pit as it seems Hank Williams wants to do. What motivates people to peddle hate like that? Do that make them feel better? I mean, what he said is absolutely false. The president's is false. not a Muslim. Right. He, 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 you know, and of course, in that part of the country, farming is kind of important. But yet he says that the president hates farming. I mean, that's uh, ridiculous. The best way to combat it, as, as, well, it is ridiculous. But we're, aren't we teaching younger people that it's okay to hate in some sort? Yeah, well, you know what we are, but we have to resist that, Ed. I think you're bringing up a very uh, important point. So I don't want to overlook that. I don't want to not be valiant here. And to be valiant is to say, look, we have to stand up to this tooth and nail. The facts are the president just under his administration gave billions of dollars uh, to those farmers who had been treated unfairly, especially African-American ones, unless Mr. Williams doesn't think that black farmers are equally deserving of the respect that all farmers are due. The military, the budget under Mr. Obama certainly uh, has not been defense centric, but he has certainly perpetuated a legacy that some have found problematic even on the left. So the point is, we have to talk about love, we have to talk about justice and democracy, and we will not give in to those who are the hate mongers.